my name is Ellen Hoyt. I'm a founding member of the Brooklyn Watercolor Society that was started close to 40 years ago by a small group of artists who decided that we needed a special title for the work of art that we enjoy doing the most, which is transparent watercolor. And we were 10 members to start, nine women and one guy. So it started in a small way, and we were very lucky to have wonderful venues to show our work. And so we grew. Hi, my name is Michael Conley, and I've been a member of BWS for four years. It's very high quality work that's done by BWS. Um, in order to get into the uh, society, you have to submit works, three works, and that is juried by um, all the members. And then they vote on approving who gets in. And usually there's maybe one or two people admitted um, in the year. We do it in April, and then we do it in September, I think, so in the spring and the fall. Um, so it's, it's tough to get in. I remember when I, when I did it and, um, you know, working really hard on creating some new works um, that I could be proud of to submit and be juried and, you know, luckily I got in. My name is Bob Axelrod. I've been a member of the Society since 1986. Simply stated, it's a group of about 40 individuals with some affiliation to Brooklyn who paint in the watercolor media and uh, who have achieved a relatively high uh, degree of proficiency using watercolors. But watercolor in itself has its, its own magic and uh, I think the more you use that the more it reveals itself to the artist, to the painter as, as time goes by. My name is John Dillon and I've been a member of the Watercolor Society since the spring of 2005. You know, you get, I got to meet all these other people who, uh, you know, do watercolors. You get to talk about, you know, watercolor, um, you know, painting and techniques and what other people do. And you get to see everybody's work. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. At the moment, I'm the membership chairman. So that prospective members have to uh, find the application online or call up or somehow get an application and bring their work to me and I kind of interview them on the phone, and then they have to be juried in by uh, how it appears, the, the group. And that's, a, that's how somebody becomes a member of our group.